Kate. Um, she moved in about three months ago. I need some help with Chloe. Chloe's my daughter. Um, her mum, my wife. My ex-wife, Paula, and I had a, a mutual separation. I say mutual separation, actually. She, she met someone at work. That was six months ago. And uh, she didn't want Chloe, so... I'm not saying she's a bad mum. She's a good mum. It's just... Anyway, so I needed someone to help me with Chloe during the day. Uh, and a mate and a mate put Kate in touch. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, thanks for looking after Chloe last night. No worries. Did you get down the gym? Yeah, yeah. I'm quite getting into this whole health kick thing, you know? So, did you get something to eat down there? Um, yeah, just a salad thing. Mm. <laughs> nice. It was... Yeah, it's all right as it goes. So, who do you think put all the curry containers in the bin then? Uh, <laughs> my mind's a blank. <laughs> Kate looks after things at home. I've got a pretty full-on job. <laughs> it's a bit like being married, really. Apart from not having the arguments and cheating, I suppose. Here we go. Summer flower 788. No. Rainham chick 56. No. Mm. Horn monkey 69. No. I don't know why I bother. I don't know why you bother. Yeah. Cool runner 32. Likes walks, reading, meals out with friends, or quiet nights in with a bottle of wine and a DVD. Which is basically like saying enjoys breathing and waking up in the morning. Who cares what she's into? So what if she's a part-time knife-juggling macrame student? Look, you've got to take the scientific approach. Do their photos make them look fit? And from what they've written, are they likely to shag on the first date? I thought this was about finding meaningful partners for love and friendship. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't happen. Believe me, internet dating is for people who have slept with their friends and the friends of their friends and are just looking to broaden their horizons. And by broaden their horizons, I basically mean get a shag. I'm not after a shag. No, I know I said I'd be home early, but we're up to our necks in it here. Yes, of course I'd prefer to be there with your parents. I promise. As soon as I can. Bye. You right, Mike? You two do remember that business thing we do here? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're just in the middle of... Um... Trying to find Pete a date. We're not trying to do anything for Pete. Online. I signed him up. <laughs> I've read about this. Apparently online dating can be a viable alternative for men in your situation. What do you mean, men in my... I don't have a... She's wearing a pirate outfit. It's fancy dress. Yeah, I know it's fancy dress. I got it. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, thanks for letting me drop her off here. Oh, it's exactly a year since Ali's bloke dumped her. Or since they first slept together. I know I get mixed up, but anyway, she's in a state, so... That's no worries. Promise to meet her for a drink. I'm fine, just, just, you know... I hope she's okay. Oh, she'll be fine. Oh, and I made some extra salad for lunch. I thought you could have it for dinner, save you ordering a takeaway. I do that. I can look after myself. Pete, two bags of cheese and onion and half a dairy milk isn't exactly looking after yourself. Okay. Oh, and I recorded that, um, that Attenborough thing you wanted to watch last night. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, I should head. I don't want Ali giving me grief. She's got a big night planned. See you later. <laughs> right, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Let's wait up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what? Well, 
I'm no psychiatrist, but maybe the reason you're holding back on the internet dating thing is because you're more interested in someone closer to home. Kate? Making you dinner? Recording shows on TV for you? That's commitment in my book. I say get in quick, mate. You don't want to be one of those sad bastards left spending the rest of your life eating meals for one. I'd grab her before someone else does. Thank you, Cosy. Now, guys, you've got to focus on this one. Who is going to play the clock game? Uh, I am. You talk the fastest, do you? Uh, yeah. All right, there's 30 seconds on the clock for you, and uh, in that 30 seconds, you are going to win the dinner set and the appliances if you get the price right. We're going to make some bids. I'll keep saying higher or lower till you get it, all right? 300. Well, hang on just a sec, little fella. <laughs> Oh, ooh, hang on just a sec. For everyone at home, let's check the price of the dinner. <laughs> there we go. Okay, clock's going to start with your first bid. Good luck and go. 250. Higher. 300. Higher. 350. Higher. 400. Higher. 450. Higher. 550. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, Kate, it's me. Pete, that is. <laughs> right, you know it's me. Obviously. Well, hope you know it's me. <laughs> anyway, uh, listen, I know you're out with your mate and... Oh, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with Chloe. By the way, uh, not not there should be. Um, obviously, I'm not going to start calling you just to tell you there's nothing on Chloe. You know, I'll be on the phone to you all the time. Well, at least I hope I'd be on the phone to you all the time. Not not, not that I want to be speaking to you all the time. It's just that you know I'd always want there to be nothing wrong with Chloe. That's all. I mean, not that I not that I don't want to be speaking to you either. It's just <clears throat> anyway. Look, I I just wondered, are you free tomorrow at all? You know, maybe we. Okay. Hi. No, 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 there's nothing wrong with her. No, no. No, no, Chloe, Chloe's absolutely fine. Listen, um, she's, she's, she's at a grand's tomorrow night. Um, I just wondered, you know, if you were, if you were free at all, um, maybe, well, maybe you'd be keen to, um, you know, you might, you might consider... A romantic night with you at home doing market research? <sighs> My God. You have been out of the game for a while. I don't know, I just panicked. I told you it was a terrible idea. Well, what did she say? She said yes. Well, I suppose that it's... No. You're screwed. Paula and me. 95 we met, uh, last year of uni. First big relationship. Well, for me, anyway. I mean, there were others, you know, she wasn't the only one. I mean, you don't lose it, do you? Once, once you've chatted up one girl, you can chat them all up. So thanks for agreeing to do this, you know. Uh, we, we just thought we needed some more um, feedback, you know, for case studies. No worries, if you think I'm the right kind of person. <laughs> oh, God, no, you're the obvious choice, you know, for this, so... Uh... <laughs> Number one, erecting a wall on a property you owned, are you more or less likely to consider a dry stone project in light of its environmental benefits? Uh, more? Perfect. Number two, given a choice of granite, sandstone or brick, which would you choose for a wall you were building? Are you... Uh... Sandstone. Okay. Pete, are all the questions so... specific? Well, um, no, I mean, a bit later on they get much more, um... general. How many more are there? Um, just, uh, a few. <phone rings> oh. Oh, it's Phil. I just... Oh, I just nipped a blue. Yeah. Hi! How do you think it's going? I've got a beautiful 25-year-old girl locked in the toilet wondering why on earth is she spending an evening with a loser like me talking about rocks when she could be out with, I don't know, with the, the captain of the local rugby team? What? Oh, right, what, what do you mean exactly? Move the conversation around something she feels more comfortable about. We are talking about stone walls, you know. What exactly is comfortable about a bunch of rocks? Right, that's just disgusting. No, I'm not in a bad mood. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Same to you, mate. Cheers. Bye. 
It's all okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I've got one more for you. You and your mates, uh, you're going out of the pub. To what extent does building materials play a part in your deciding where you'd like to go? Not very likely. <laughs> well, I, I guess it depends on the mates. Well, OK. Um, how about, I don't know, um, maybe, it's, maybe, maybe it's a boyfriend, you know? Take him out for the night, a nice meal, flowers, you know, the works. <laughs> when did you last go on a date? 1960s. <laughs> Guys in this town buy you a couple of half price shots in some club, snog your face off on the dance floor, and then try and grope you in the taxi on the way home. What kind of a date's that? <laughs> Terrible. It's awful. But I mean, you are a beautiful girl. You could do a lot better. Yeah, well. If you find any Prince Charmings under your dry stone walls, give me a shout. I think it's probably best if we just do a, just a couple more. Pete, I don't want to be rude, but I've got an early start tomorrow. I've got to pick Chloe up from your mum's. And... I've had a great night, though. Really? No. <laughs> it, it was different. <laughs> and the wine was nice. Anyway, night. <laughs> You don't fancy doing something one night next week? I, I, don't, I don't mean another survey. <laughs> Thank God for that. I mean, yeah, that would be good. Great. Well, um, you know, we could, we could go and grab a meal or maybe, maybe, maybe catch a film. You know, just, just get out of the house. Or, if you fancy something different, the Forum have got this retro emo night on. Inspired Death are playing. They're like a darker green day with a bit of thrash. Oh, sounds... Perfect. Great. Well, let Ali know. Ali? Yeah, she's getting everyone tickets. I'm sure she'll be able to get you one. Oh. Oh, it'd be good to get out. And the ladies love inspired death. Might even be able to fix you up. Oh. Since when do you listen to Green Day? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've always been a fan of their, um, their, their melodic style. You know, uh, the lyrics, their... <sighs> Going to a gig with Kate and her mates on Thursday. Her mates? I'm not going to have even a clue what the music's about. You know, it's going to be like she's brought her dad along. I'm going to stick out like a right plum. Oh, you'll be fine. This is just what you need. So what are you planning for after? Uh, I don't know. I mean, well, I imagine we won't have too late a one. I mean, we've got the Urban Walls pitch, haven't we? And it's a Thursday, so Kate's got art group and... <laughs> what? Pete, mate. If you're going to get anywhere with Kate, you need to strike while the iron's hot. I just... I just don't want to rush it. That's all. There is no rushing when it comes to women. Hmm? They expect us to be in control. They want to know that we'll go out on a limb for them. <sighs> you want to get anywhere with Kate, you need to show that you can take the lead, especially when it comes to sex. You do want to have sex with her. Yeah, of course I do. You know, when the time's right. Thing is, there hasn't been anyone since Paula, and I mean, I met her at uni, and before her, well, well, there wasn't that many, so. So Paula was your. Well, yeah, but um, you know, things with Paula, they were perfect. Well, apart from the part where she had an affair behind your back, then left you to bring up a kid on your own. I'm just saying. Yeah, but the thing is with Kate, you know, she's 25 years old. I mean, things have moved on. I don't know the moves now, you know, you, and you read all the time about things that can go wrong these days. Things that go wrong? Yeah, you know, problems. Downstairs. Oh, you're worried that you are I don't to... know, I'm older. You know, Kate's used to guys her own age who can be up and at it all night. A, a fun night for me these days is hot chocolate and a hobnob. <laughs> Mate, you're taking a girl to a gig. Those places are instant foreplay. Let the music do its work, then you do yours. How hard can it be? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, hiya, Mike. Pete's not back yet. I thought he was at the office. I've not come to speak to Pete, actually. Oh. It's about Alexander. Alexander? Our son? 
Michelle and I have been struggling to find time together on our own. She'd never trust him with a stranger, but perhaps if you were interested in working a few extra nights a week? I'm not sure. I'd make it worth your while, of course. And we could fit it in around your work here. I've not mentioned it to Pete yet. I don't want him to think I'm trying to steal you away. <laughs> I'm kind of taken up with Chloe, to be honest. Oh. I see. Well, if you do change your mind. Of course, yeah. Now I've got to get ready. I'm sort of going out. Ah, yes. Big night of passion. The what? I mean, Pete and his music. Or any kind of culture. Loves it. He's a passionate guy. Pete? Oh, God, yes. I know he'll hold back and play it cool, but believe me, beneath that exterior there beats a passionate, red-blooded, Mediterranean heart. Pete? Don't let the mild man executive fool you. Women have their work cut out trying to keep up with Pete Thompson, even if you can't. Show it straight away. His ex-wife Paula was a very lucky woman snaring him first time round. It was her that asked him out. <laughs> anyway, I should... I should go, really. What was your favourite track? Oh, I th thought they were all great, really. Really? Yeah. You seemed to go a bit quiet at the end. No, I was just, you know, drinking it all in. <laughs> well, I had a fun night. Yeah. So did I. Do you fancy a nightcap? Yeah. <sighs> Keep it together, Pete. Keep it together. They were, uh, they were all right, old inspired death, weren't they? Oh, I'm glad. I wasn't sure it was your kind of thing. You're kidding? Love all that live stage stuff. Reminds me of when I used to gig. You were in a band? Yeah, rhythm guitar. Used to play down the Union every Friday. We were the uh, Stone Roses of our day. <laughs> well, if the Stone Roses hadn't actually been in our day already. <laughs> Bet the girls loved you. Yeah, I mean, these boy bands, you know, they think they've got it great, but until you've lived life as a rocker, you never really know what the... Hey. Ah. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I just I didn't realise you'd changed. Yeah. A bit warm. <laughs> Is that for me? Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That was nice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do it again if you like. That was nice. Also. <laughs> Yeah. I would have got round to doing it, you know. I'd just mind me taking me a bit of time. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, so I heard. <laughs> you heard? Oh, no, it's nothing. It's just something Mike said. <laughs> you've been talking to Mike? No, not, not really. No, he just said that you've... I've been what? You might need a bit of a push. We were just talking. He was bigging you up. Because obviously I can't impress you just on my own. Don't be stupid. It wasn't like that. Well, what was it like then? Pete, you're getting this all wrong. He was just looking to see if I wanted some extra babysitting. And then we got talking about tonight and he just... It was nothing. We were just talking. He was trying to convince me that if I wanted to win you over... I might need to chase after you like Paula did. It was just Mike. It was no big deal. So you weren't just trying to further your career behind my back, but you are also talking about me and my ex-wife as well? <laughs> God's sake, Pete, don't be so stupid. You're acting like my dad. Yeah. Well, um... 
listen, I've, I've, uh, I've had a great night and, um, well, I'm going to go to bed. Cheers, June. There he is. Someone looks like he didn't get much sleep last night. So come on, then. How was it? If you must know, it's a complete disaster. I spent the longest night of my life listening to music I didn't even understand. And then when I got home, I discovered that Mike's been blabbing his mouth off to Kate. Blabbing about what? Oh, about working for him. And Paula. And what we were talking about yesterday. What? He told us that you were worried that you won't be able to get an ad. As if I want the girl that I pay to look after Chloe talking about that. I mean, what business is it of hers? And anyway, that's what you get for going out with a schoolgirl. Sex obsessed. I tell you what, if she wants to go and work for Mike, he's welcome to her. Uh, look, I've got to be uh, <clears throat> somewhere else. I'll... Uh... Kate, look, I, I didn't mean what I... What? The, the sex-obsessed part? What? That's just... That's an expression. Or the disposable employee part. Thanks, Pete. Thanks a lot. Oh, shit! Ow! Oh, sorry, Kate, what? Kate, hi, it's me. Uh, listen, I know you're staying at Ali's, and I wanted to talk to you about yesterday. I know you're good at your job. Chloe, please, one sec, one sec. I, I, I know you're good at your job, and I, I know you don't just do it for the money. It's such a stupid thing to say. Look, look if, you, if you consider coming home, you know, Chloe... She'll be glad to see you. That, that's it, really. We don't normally see you in your weekends. No, Chloe's uh, at Grand's. So. Oh, nice. But a time on your own, eh? Yeah. Kate, how did you know I was here? I... Listen, about what I said yesterday, I, I had no idea you were there. If I had, I would never have... I... I didn't. You've spoken, then. Thank God. Didn't want it all to turn into one of those awkward situations. Situations? Kate, looking after Alexander. Thank you so much for this. Michelle's over the moon. First Saturday alone together in... God, I can't even remember. But anyway, he'll sleep most of the morning so he can get a rest in and keep us up through the night. Food and bottles are in here. You've got my number. And I'll see you in the office, Monday, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I was going to tell you, I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Hey, this is... this is ridiculous. Why can't we just... We've got to go. I'm meeting friends and then I'm taking him to a swimming class, so... I'll see you around, Pete. All right, mate. Hi. How's things? Oh, you know, just trying to sort out a new nanny for Chloe. Whatever. Oh, yeah, maybe that's best. Phil, do you have any idea what the breakdown of costs for the urban... <sighs> All right, Pete, you look like shit. Yeah, sorry, just been trying to sort out a babysitter. Yeah? Well, feel free to keep the next one to yourself, rather than palming her off onto the rest of us. What do you mean? <sighs> Your friend Kate, she's quit. Just can't rely on anyone these days. To be honest, it wasn't really working out anyway. Michelle and I had dinner together for the first time in, God, years. Two mouthfuls into a steak and she was started worrying about Alexander. Ended up having a blazing row. Sorry. To be honest, I think she prefers his company to mine. Uh, Mike, did Kate say why she was leaving? Kate? Some ridiculous excuse about us being too... uptight. I think that's what I miss most, actually, about 
you know, the breakup, the Paula and everything. It's not, it's not just the living together and the sex. Don't get me wrong. It's having someone there. Being able to see Chloe grow up and getting excited about all the stuff she's going to do. That's... That, that's what being a family is all about, isn't it? Look, sorry, can I... Can I finish this a bit? Sorry, I, there's, there's something I really need to do. You'll ruin your teeth. I haven't got time to talk, Pete. I'm just leaving. What, what do you mean, you're leaving? I mean, I'm leaving. Ali and I are going to London. London? But you, you can't. It's miles away. You'll, you'll hate it. It's not you, Kate. You don't just throw everything away and, and move off down to London just because things haven't worked out. You belong here. We're just going for the weekend to see her sister. Yeah. Of course you are. Sorry. Kate. I'm sorry. That's it, is it? After what you said. You treated me as if... I, I don't know, like some bloke that comes to wash the windows. I know. Listen, I've... I've lost a family before. And I know that it's only been four months, but... That's what we felt like. You, me and Chloe. And I know we didn't sleep with each other. Mike and Michelle haven't done it in six months and they're about as familyed up as you can get. I was the one that asked you out. Yeah, you. A 25-year-old beautiful girl asked me out. A miserable, stuck-in-a-crap job, going nowhere, single dad in his 30s. You know, I mean, how long are you going to be interested in that? I don't know why you're so worried about being old when you act like such a kid. It's not about how old you are, or what job you do, or what music you're into. I like you because you make me laugh. <laughs> and because you're kind. Because you're a great dad to Chloe. She misses you. Really? Crying, dribbling, not sleeping at night. I've been doing them all. It was only a matter of time till she realised something was up. <laughs> so? I think we should give it a go. Tomorrow, we'll all go swimming. The three of us, me, you and Chloe. I can't, I'm meeting Ali. You, you can't go, not now. I mean, what, what if we go down there and meet somebody? <laughs> it's just a weekend, Pete, I'll be back. Will you? Yes. Hey. Trust me. Oh, that's Ali. I've got to go. Well, I just... I'll see you, Pete. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Your girlfriend is coming back. Oh, she's not my... Um, she doesn't actually eat fried chicken, so... <laughs> Must be all bad habits rubbing off on her. <laughs> Yes, it is. I <laughs> I <laughs>